In this quick video, I will be showing you how managers can better understand what their resources are working on and what their availability is. By using the EPM Live Resource Planner, managers can now view and perform what-if analysis on resource workload and availability by all types of work. Let me show you what I mean. By clicking on the Resource Planner link, I first see a list of resources in my resource pool. I can group these resources by different attributes. For example, this view is grouped by department. I can also filter out resources based on attributes. For example, if I just wanted to see the developers, I can. Now I might want to look at these resources workload and availability. I'm going to go ahead and select all the resources in the software development department and then click the view resource button. Go ahead and select software development group and click view resource plan. Now in this resource planning view I can see resource workload and availability by any work type. Let me show you what I mean. By expanding Steve Masters, I can see a list of work items that have been assigned to Steve. These work items include project tasks, risks, issues, and action items. With EPM Live, you can use the Resource Planner with any combination of any SharePoint work item list. For example, these lists might be bugs, new features, service requests, and more. Not only can I see the work for the software development group, but I also can see the entire team's workload and availability in a dynamic histogram view. Now let's say we want to do some what-if analysis on these resources. By simply expanding a resource, and selecting a work item in the Gantt view, I can drag and drop the work item to see what the impacts might be. So I'm going to go ahead and move this build system task around. So what, ha what if we move this particular task out a few months, or what if we decided not to do this task? We could see what the impacts would be. I can also extend the time frame of these work items to see what the impacts might be if it was to take longer or shorter to complete the work item. For example, we'll take the build system build system task and we'll see if we were to shorten the duration what would happen obviously here we see quite a bit of over allocation or what would happen if we extended it so we kind of get an idea of the resource workload here I might also want to see this workload for the software development team by project so by changing the view I can see all the workload grouped by project If I wanted to, I can also do additional what-if analysis here. For example, what if I canceled the hardware process improvement project? What would happen? Wow, that would free up some workload. Now, what if I just wanted to move this project out a few months? What would happen? Oh, now that looks better. Now that I've done my analysis, I might want to save these scenarios for a later review. Managers can save unlimited scenarios by clicking on Actions and then clicking the Save Resource Plan button. This is just a quick example of how you can leverage SharePoint and EPM Live to get a better understanding of your resource workload and availability.